Hey everyone, Alien Theory here with a quick, just off the cuff kind of video today about The Making of Alien, which is a new book that's been released. It was just released this Tuesday uh, by J.W. Rinsler. This is an account, a very thorough account of the making of the film with a lot of great behind the scenes images, Ridley Graham storyboards, things like that. A lot of stuff never before seen actually. And I've been very excited to get it. It's finally here, so I wanted to, to share it a bit. I haven't actually taken a huge look at it just yet. Uh, so I, this is more of like, say, like an overview than like a review of the book. So I just wanted to share that. And we actually do have quite a bit of Aliens uh, stuff coming out uh, within the weeks uh, to come. So I want to give you a heads up on that. Aliens Rescue, it, it just started its run. And uh, that's, of course, the next in... Amanda Ripley's journey through the comics. So we've had uh, Defiance, which she was just a minimal part of, and uh, Resistance, which followed events after Alien Isolation. Now we have Rescue following those events. And an Alien Isolation novel, or perhaps novelization may be more appropriate, but that's coming soon too. And also we have, I think just within the next two weeks, we are going to be getting Alien 3 from... Uh, William Gibson, Johnny Christmas, the comic adaptation of, of the uh, unproduced script. Getting a hardcover of that, all the issues combined. So that's really exciting too. So hopefully I get to share that on the channel as well. But for now, I wanted to talk about the making of Alien. Now, if you've followed me on the channel for a while, you probably know I'm, I am kind of big on the digital stuff, for better or worse. You know, I like to get my comics that way. I like to get my novels that way. But you just can't beat something like this, which is... In every sense of the word, this is like a coffee table kind of book. It's, it's big. It's definitely uh, a bulky, heavy book, which is awesome. And uh, just uh, crisp, wonderful uh, visuals in this, which I, I'm very excited to have this on the shelf. You just can't, you know, get a digital version of something like this. So I just wanted to, to share how this looks here. Just take a look at the back real quick, if we can... Like that so we have a lot of stuff so as it's advertised here as it's touted it's the complete story behind the most famous sci-fi horror movie of all time it's from titan books of course so we can see we have uh, a lot of stuff we have uh, uh, original hr giger designs with original posters behind the scenes images so a lot of stuff that's familiar maybe stuff that we haven't quite seen before um but this just for the sake of this video, this actually, this uh, slover, slover, this cover, it, it does come off. But, so I'm going to take it off for the purpose of this video, just to make it easier to kind of go through it a little bit, do this overview. Uh, and what we have, is see, it's nice and black, actually. That's kind of cool. And look at that. Very, very nice original face hugger kind of design here. I really love that design. We take a look in here. And actually, you know what? There's, there is a little bit to read in here. So let's take a quick look. Uh, Alien is widely regarded as the archetypal sci-fi horror movie and the story of its long and troublesome journey from the first fevered imaginings of writer Dan O'Bannon, inspired by his st uh, chronic stomach cramps, uh, to Hollywood blockbuster vividly reflects the tension and relentlessly oppressive atmosphere of the finished product. Author J.W. Winsler, the making of Star Wars, so definitely has some credits under his belt, has conducted brand new interviews with Ridley Scott and some of his key collaborators on the film to help finally tell the whole story behind this extraordinary landmark of modern cinema. Rarely seen photos, illustrations, and documents from the archives and of Fox and Ridley Scott shed new light on the creative process from beginning to end, highlighting the many difficulties and unforgettable moments that occurred along the way, including Ridley Scott coming aboard in search of his big break as a major movie director, the hiring of visionary artist H.R. Giger and the astonishing alien creations he developed for the production, the many creative problems experienced in trying to get the aliens' various forms right, casting the unknown Sigourney Weaver in the lead part of Ripley, an ill-tempered and physically demanding shoot with frequent clashes between director and producers, the filming of the notorious chestburster scene and its lasting effect on the cast. The film's extraordinarily... <laughs> the film's extraordinary early screenings with reports of people running out of theaters screaming illustrated with a wealth of fascinating visual material, including numerous examples of Ridley Scott's famous Ridley Grams. This is the definitive volume on the making of a popular cinema classic. So, 
a lot, a lot in this book. So again, I didn't take much of a look at it, but as you can see here, if we go into the table of contents, we actually have quite a bit. It uh, chronicles the movie by dates, of course. So uh, quite a, a good, thorough way of telling it. So we have the chapter one, Escape from Lucifer. That's May 1968 to spring 1976. Chapter two, Primal Screams, spring 1976 to April 1977. Chapter three, Deep Space Working Class, May to November 1977. Chapter four, A Martini for Ridley. November 1977 to March 1978. Maybe that's when he was meeting with uh, Giger, perhaps. Because, oh yes, the next chapter, chapter five, Big Chaps. So that might lead into it. So that's March to May 1978. Chapter six, Jockeying for Space, May to June 1978. Phase Shifters, June to July 1978. Draw and Shoot, July 1978. Existential Craft, July to August 1978. Extraterrestrial int Intrigue. August 1978, The Horror, August to October 1978, Backed into a Corner, October to December 1978, Gore, Vomit, and Fear, January to May 1979, Chapter 14, An Alien is Born, May 1979 to 1980, and an epilogue of Future Nightmares where they talk about the sequels and the legacy and the restorations and, and all that great stuff. So... Just to give a quick, we'll just kind of really quickly look through this. I, I won't read the, the introduction by uh, Mr. Rinsler here, but taking a look at some of the images here, we have some of the, the Ron Cobb art, it looks like here, and Ridley behind the camera, of course. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is definitely the Ron Cobb art uh, that, you know, wasn't uh, deemed the best fit, I guess you could say, with the film, so that's kind of cool. And it's, it's great to see, you know, the image on, on the page. It's, again, it's a huge, huge uh, book. And just a, a lot of, of the background, of course, a lot of stuff we know, new interviews and things like that. So it's one of the good things about a book like this, again, kind of if we want to call it a coffee table kind of book. It's something that I, I definitely like to, to read front to back and get the full story. But at the same time, it is something, you know, let's say you do have it on the coffee table, absolutely fulfilling its purpose as you know, such a product. Someone walks in picks it up, reads, oh, yeah, let's read about, the, you know, the chestburster scene or something like that. So it's always, there's, there'll always be kind of an interesting story that you can pick up and read uh, with these types of books. This is very similar, I'd say, uh, to The Alien Vault, if you had that, uh, except in that release, a lot of this stuff, like, you know, some of the promotional materials and Ridley Grahams and storyboards and things like that, a lot of that I, I don't believe I've seen uh, elsewhere besides here, this stuff kind of looks new to me. Um, that was all kind of separate in little pouches and little attachments in it, but here it's all on the page, which I think is nice. Uh, as, as cool as it is to kind of uncover that stuff. Um, but of course, we have a lot of the Giger art here. Let's just find something particularly juicy if we can here. Maybe something with a little slime, a little blood, maybe. Oh, there's Mr. Giger. Some Ridley Grahams here. Oh, yes, yes, the design, the original design. More Ridley Grahams. Oh, yes. Iconic, legendary. Yeah, a, a lot of great stuff here. I can't wait to, to read the interviews in particular. Those are always kind of fun. A wonderful cast. And more design. Again, a lot of these pictures I haven't quite seen before. We have a little bit of blueprints of the Nostromo, more behind the scenes stuff. Blahe Dejo is a, a get up there. That's pretty funny. That's so cool. And more of the great cast here. Yeah, I'll, a very, very thorough collection of things. Just, you know, just skimming through this as quickly as I can. Just to give you an idea, it's it's pretty overwhelming, like, with the content in this in this book. Now, again, like, I'm, I'm skipping through. I don't want to, like, ruin the whole thing either, you know what I mean? Um, definitely, I can tell you, I, uh, well, I can tell you pretty much sight unseen before even getting this, that this is something that you'd want to get, right? Uh, it feels a lot like Christmas opening this up, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh, yeah, there's a... Uh, Yafet and Mr. John Hurt waking up. 
Oh yeah, it's just this is actually really cool to see that. Very scary. <laughs> Uh, John heard his uh, caressing Ridley Scott's beard in that picture, which is very funny. Quite a bit. Let's a little bit more. Just a lot here. So I don't know if this is a particularly interesting video. Again, this is kind of like off the cuff and stuff, but I, I'm just looking through this and it's very, very interesting. It's very cool. Oh, wow. I, I don't think I've ever seen this image before, actually. Look at that. That's great. This is from. Chapter 11, The Horror, August to October 1978. More of a beautiful big chap here. More imagery. And some of this stuff definitely I've seen before. Others, kind of different angles. Things like that. Of course, the infamous face hugger here. The original classic poster. Love it. Iconic. Beautiful. And yes, yes, the, the illustrated story from Heavy Metal, favorite. That's great. For, I, I, when I was initially skimming through this, I was like, wait a minute, did they put the whole comic in here? That would have been amazing, which, fortunately, no. But, you know, it wouldn't be too surprising. They actually did include it with the, they included like a mini version with the uh, Alien uh, 35th anniversary release actually on Blu-ray, so wouldn't be too out of the question, but maybe, you know, it's it's thorough thorough enough. So here's a, oh, that's kind of cool, a marquee. Uh, we have Alien starting on May 25th. 70 millimeter. That was good for the time. Usually I think, you know, theaters probably back then only played the 35, at least, you know, the local theaters the big ones would get the 70 millimeter of course great to see superman on and uh, the exorcist of course and they always had air conditioning that was great like i knew i wasn't there <laughs> still uh just it's a lot of great stuff really a testament to the legacy of alien and the impact that it's had and this is this is just great i mean uh if if you yourself are a big oh and of course the big oscar wins that's great uh, if you yourself are a fan and you like this kind of stuff, like, you know, maybe some people don't like a coffee table book, but uh, if that's your thing, I'd highly recommend it. Or, you know, if there's an alien fan in your life, Christmas is coming soon. You know, only a few months away. <laughs> Might be something to just keep in mind, right? Uh, so, uh, again, here's uh, the kind of final portion of, of the book where it's... Uh, Shows uh, the sequels and other things that uh, emerged from from the film. Uh, we have a, a giant appendix here, uh, ready to burst. And uh, and this is a this is a really nice image. Uh, Sigourney Weaver uh, getting her hair done. It looks like here. And uh, a bow from Big Chap. Very nice. And Sigourney and Ian Holm having a laugh during what was a very tense scene in the film. And some more art here. Quite beautiful. Quite a great collection. Uh, I gotta say, The Making of Alien, it's a, it's a very impressive release. And it was something that I was very much looking forward to. Again, I, I can't wait to dig into it a little bit more. But this is a basic overview. And it's been about 15 minutes of me just uh, kind of quickly browsing through a book and giving a general idea of it. But uh, if this is your thing, definitely pick it up. And thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos quite soon. I have a lot of stuff uh, in the pipe, 5x5. Five five. And uh, that sh there should be more stuff coming within the next couple of days. But for, for now, I'll say goodbye. And thank you for watching. And This is Alien Theory, signing off.